Hello, my people. How now they? Now your woman, I don't be ganty. You gain one testimony when I hear when I carry come out today. Say, make I cannot be let me go hear this one because this testimony, now life changing testimony. That the place I cause okay. Anyhow, we make I go find this man. I go in house today. Say, make I make you share the same testimony. Because I don't say this testimony will change your life. Because when you hear her, ah, you go like her. Now make I come and I deal with the pastor here. Yes, my name is Pastor Clifford Iyala, Thank also you, known as Equinsu Nto. Thank you, sir. That is Satan shame unto you. The testimony you are about to hear is how Jesus saved me out of drug addiction, a chronic alcoholic, sexual immorality, from homosexual after 22 years in the waywardness. Thank you, Jesus. I was born in a place called Tombia in River State. And after my 11 years, I was raped by my stepmother. And after that evil encounter, my eye got open to the evil part of life. And I started sleeping with my sisters in, the, in my father's house. And suddenly, after, after one year interval, they took me to Lagos State to stay with my grandmother. Based on my evil encounter of my stepmother, I started to develop stubbornness. And that was how I ran away from the house. And I find myself at Ujue Legba under bridge, where I started sleeping from Molue to Danfo and from Danfo to uncompleted building. And suddenly, one of the day, some friends meet me and took me to a place called Empire. Empire is the first Kanakuta Republic of Fela Anikula Pokuti. And that was how they started teaching me how to smoke Indian, even though Risla have not, uh, we started with what we call Kanaku. That was how we started smoking Indian gradually and another friend again met me there again and they took me to Jankara Market at Idumago Avenue in Lagos Island and Jankara Market that was 1988 89 90 Jankara Market that time was the headquarter of crime in the city of Lagos state and that was how the first I made the other teaching me how to pick pocket I started with pick, picking pocket that going from market to market from Balogu Market Dosumu Market, Okari Market, Aswani Market, Misebo at Kotonu, also Itopa at Kotonu, where I started picking people pocket. And not only market, suddenly I graduated to start going from church to church. All the mega churches in the city of Lagos State, Redeem, Mountain of Fire, Christ Embassy, Winner Chapel, I always go there to pick pocket. Not only churches, I started going from mosque to mosque also. We are, I will do Arwala with them, wash my leg, also put on Daramia, take also with Tajia and also with Tesbi in my hand. And after the prayer, Allah Wakubaru, I started picking their pocket also in several central malls in the city of Lagos State. This continued for many years. And that is why I can see all my head also, the way it was caught with cutlass everywhere. And suddenly a time came, a man rose up in the city of Lagos that they want to stop crime, named by Ghani Adams. Ghani Adams are forming what we call OPC. And that was how many of my friends was killed in several ghettos, such as Mushiolosha, Akala, Ebute Meta, Ijora, Ajegule. Plenty of my friends was killed, not only Lagos State, even outside of Lagos State, such like on the Shame Market, Aguleri, Umulede. And this done in my mind that I don't want to die the way my friends died. That was I started looking for change. And on the line, I started going from native daughter to native daughters. Where I was looking for change. And I miss several native daughters because I have plenty of them at Ijebu Bo, Ijebu Odobolu, Ijebu Ososa, Ijebu Iperu, Ikene, and Ikorodu. And I miss several of them. And one of them one day I told you, I said, Baba me e shanu mio, e mio ve kusi nu ole. That means that natives of please help me. I don't want to die in crime. 
I need and they give me several things. So then they use my they cut cut my cut my skin with several blades and give me all kinds of soap to bath some in some of them in T junction in several places. I bath all kinds of soap. There was no freedom. And this continued. And not only that, I was arrested in all the prison yard in Lagos State, such as Ikoi Prison in Victoria Island, Kri Kri in Apapa, Potoki at Badagri, sometimes as ex convict and waiting trial in several prison yard. And there was no there was no freedom. And one day I find myself at Reading Camp at Lagos Ibadan Express, where I also went to steal with my friends. And I was in that camp that day. And Pastor Enoch Adejare Adeboye said that God told him that are those that came to steal in this camp. If you are such person, come that Jesus wants to set you free. That was after 22 years. So the word enter into me like a bullet that I cannot resist. According to Psalm 107, verse 2, that he sent his word. His word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Oh. John chapter 6 and verse 63, the Bible said, is the spirit that quicker, the flesh profitable nothing. Thy word I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. This word enter into me. Suddenly I told my friends, that let me test and see that was how i stand up and i saw and i moved to the altar and i surrender my life to jesus no. and from that day my life have never remained the same no, and today jesus. i'll be going from places to places to share my testimony to make people to understand that a drug that you can be free from all addition that you find yourself such as i Thank am you, free jesus. today for good 12 years Thank you, Jesus. Hey, my viewers, you don't hear that shocking testimony. Now I said, no, let me go hear this one. I need to go there, see our life. Let me carry this one. Because thank you very much. Please follow this page. And more of this testimony will go here. Because this time you say never finish. Say now that the beginning of this testimony. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank man. you. You have lifted. Right sir. Thank you. Please, you that is watching this video, please share this video. Make sure say this video go viral because there are many people when they pass through the same challenge that they say there is no hope. I beg through this video, I know that many life could change. Share on, share on, keep sharing it. Let it go viral. Thank you.